All right, guys, welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. So today, what we're going to be looking at mod pages, basically uh, some examples of really well done mod pages, and um, basically why working on your mod page is really important. So, well, let's get started. Ideally, what a mod page should look like, it's basically in if you're looking at it in a business perspective, the mod page is your advertisement that is going to sell your modification. The better the mod page, the better the downloads. You can obviously see the effect here for this. When we start scrolling down, you'll have an idea of how good this mod page is actually designed. Fruity2, pretty popular on CurseForward. He's always at the top for the mCreator mods and stuff like that. The, he makes mods with mCreator and then posts it under, under CurseForge. Uh, he's got like 11 million downloads for this particular mod. Again, this is going to be a huge part into actually advertising through the mod page, showing what the actual features are, designing it that's uh, visually appealing. People will download and they'll keep coming back. You can create great features, great mechanics and stuff, but without a good presentation, you're not going to get much success. To look at it as the other part, your mod is the product, your mod page is the advertisement. So to think of it in that kind of terms, uh, let's just scroll down and we can kind of see how he's presented some of these things. So you can see that there's a lot of well-designed artwork on this particular page. You can see some of the models. He's taken his time with his textures. They look really well. They're uh, appealing. Uh, he's obviously got a lot of uh, pixel art skills as well. So you can kind of see the uh, quality in the textures. And then you can kind of see the um, different types of things that are in the mod. So it's very important to also add descriptions of what they're seeing as well because um, you can show a picture and that's great but unless they know what it's actually for and what the features are um, it's not going to really mean a lot to the person reading the um, mod page. So as you can see there's a lot of detail put into this particular mod page. It's organized in a way that can be presented and there's also uh, his other mods which is a great way to promote your other um, mods as well is at the bottom of the page to showcase what else you've been working on because if chances are if they've liked this mod they might want to know about your other mods as well. Also you have to if you're on CurseForge promote the let people know that it's a M creator thing you can do that through the actual page here. Now going over to M creator uh, we'll take a couple looks at some of the mod of the weeks. Uh, they're not as well done as this particular mod page, but uh, it will give you some ideas what you can possibly do on mCreator. Both settings are basically cross compatible with what you can do. It's just a matter of how you set it up. But let's take a look at some of the mod of the weeks on the um, mCreator site. So if we go to the community tab and then we can go on to mod of the week and I think you just have to scroll down and then you can kind of see all the different mods that have basically done different uh, things here. Uh, some of them, that you, it depends on which one you click on. This one looks like a good profile so we'll check that one out. You can see that he's designed the logo. He's put a logo there. He's done some decoration for the description, the different types of mobs. Uh, the mobs and there's tons of texture work that's gone into all these so not necessarily have to do it as the, the first example but giving the descriptions and stuff this is a great way to um, explain your mod as well show off some of the items blocks other products in your actual modification and you know even having some screenshots of uh, certain things towards the end would be good as well and you know having multiple versions that people can download um try to keep it separate you know not like all 1.19 or whatever but you can have a mixture between 1.19 and 1.18 i generally uh provide the last three versions uh for uh the download that i have so uh taking a look at cctv craft i think i have the last three versions for that so we'll go to my account and we'll just check out uh, CCTV craft here. Um, I've been working on the page itself. I've been adding some stuff. It's not the most well-designed page, but it gets the job done. 
Uh, so I have 1.19.4, 1.19.2, and 1.19 or 1.18.2. Uh, I also keep a running change log of all the things that I've changed. Uh, this can help with um, so people know basically what you've done for the changes and stuff like that. So for example, when I port from like forward port or back port, I basically let them know in the change log what the changes were and all that stuff. Uh, that's really handy for a number of things. You can also put it on like GitHub or whatever so people can have one place to find it all. Um, as far as, you know, general, what you plan, plan features, things that you want to do, that's always a good idea to do as well. Um, I generally like having planned features and stuff. Having your links to your other sites are can really help as well. Uh, for example, the wiki, I have a wiki page for um, on the GitHub that I have. It's a dedicated wiki that I maintain. And then there's GitHub where they can report bugs and stuff and see progress and stuff like that. The Curse Forge, so it links it up to there. I also do vice versa and link it back to here. So all the traffic has um, balanced throughout all the sites as well. So uh, outside of that, that's basically it. Um, making a mod page is pretty simple. You can set the specific versions and stuff. But as you can see, I got like 300 or 3,206 downloads for CCTV Craft. So it's a good mod. I would sure if I promoted it better, it would probably it would probably skyrocket and get a lot more downloads and stuff. But another thing that you might want to do is actually do shaders in your screenshots. Uh, I've noticed that that can help a little bit. It's not so much. It depending on your shader that you're using, it can. If, like for example the one that I'm using I can't remember which one I'll leave the link in the description but uh, this one particularly just basically improves the the shading it doesn't really change any textures or anything like that it's very vanilla still so people can still see what everything works with shaders can definitely improve it because shaders do generally look a lot better than just the base game so you can always do that as well anyhow that's all for today if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and I will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out